Hey guys, uh, Marshall here with Green Acres Nursery and Supply. Today we're going to talk about what makes an easy care house plant. And that is, you know, understanding what those plants need. Um, all plants can be easy if you know what they need. So first, on, first and foremost, the first thing I want to talk about is the easy ZZ. The Zamia Coca, Zamia Folia. These guys are super easy care because they like to dry all the way out. Um, so knowing that they like to dry all the way out, that allows you to really just set it and forget it. You know, come back to it when you think, oh, I paid my rent, maybe I should water my ZZ plant. Um, really, really easy care. They do really fantastic in most light levels, um, from medium to low even. I've seen them do fantastic. Really removed from the window, big, beautiful plants, really easy care. Um, they come in a lot of different varieties. I have a couple varieties here. We have your classic original ZZ plant, the Zamia Coca Zamia Folia. Um, and we have a bunch of fun new cultivars as well. Um, this is the Oscura, um, similar to the Raven. Um, nice dark leaves. The emergent leaves come out lime green, which is super fun. Um, this is a really fun new one. This is Zamia Coca Zamia Folia Lucky. You'll notice that it has some nice rounded leaves on it. Um, same, same easy care plant as, you know, the regular ZZ. Fantastic plant to add to your collection. Now, the next thing I'm going to talk about is some ferns. Now, I know ferns maybe sound difficult, but they definitely aren't always going to be. Um, ferns like the rabbit's foot fern, the bird's nest fern, and even the kangaroo paw fern all love a period of dryness. Now, that doesn't mean they want to sit in drought. Um, they enjoy just, you know, drying out in between waterings, and that's because these ferns are epiphytic. They generally have a little foot or a creeping rhizome that does not want to stay too wet for too long. So that makes them easy in the sense that you want to dry down. Now ferns can definitely be um, overwhelming, but they don't have to be. Um, another plant I want to talk about is one of my absolute favorites, um, and that is the peace lily. The peace lily is fantastic. It is adaptable to most light levels, and it's easy care in the sense that it tells you when it wants water. The leaves will start to droop, and that means, hey, let's give it some water. Um, now this plant is variegated and beautiful, but it is still very, very easy care. Some variegated plants can be tricky, but this one stays beautiful year round for you. Another one I wanna talk about is the Aglianema. These are very underrated plants, very, very easy care. Um, they come in a lot of different varieties, shapes, sizes, colors. Um, these two are some of my favorites. Low light tolerant, low water as well. Let them dry all the way out in between waterings and you're going to have beautiful, fantastic plants. Now if you're looking for something that might trail, we have the um, Scandapsis pictus, Exotica, and um, let's see what this one is, the, just the Picta. Um, these are fantastic trailing plants. They do well in very low light levels and they just continuously grow for you. Um, absolutely wonderful. Very, very easy care. Let it dry out in between watering. If you're looking for some easy care gifts for the holiday season, we have lots of different options in the nursery at all times. Um, we have stuff for just about everyone um, from the collector to, you know, someone who just wants something really pretty to look at in their house. Um, everything um, from ferns to philodendrons and everything in between to and from. So, Definitely stop on by, um, get to know the plants. You know, we have lots of plants in here and they all have different needs. And once you kind of understand those needs, you can really start to hone in your houseplant game and just start growing everything everywhere.